Well, good morning, friends. Today we will discuss uh, some uh, uh, English aspects, which is very important. As you know, the instruments in English literature or instruments in science. So, in literature, we have many uh, instruments. So, as also in uh, science, also we have many many instruments like your barometer, barograph, cardiograph, like your or uh, accelerometer, aerometer, accelerometer, altimeter, amenometer, anemograph, altimeter, barograph, barometer, oximeter, optometer, luxmeter, scintillometer. So many things are there. But we have to understand the basics of these words in English literature so that we will definitely correct answers in question papers, whatever those IS examination is concerned. And we have to keep in mind that some of these instruments are having Greek root and some of these words have also uh, origin in Latin words. So let's discuss today uh, those instruments in science. Okay, dear. Just see, we have first I have to discuss that, that is your accelerometer. You see, accelerometer. You see, just to keep this, see this word, acceleration, you know, acceleration means that is your in science to uh, speed up something, right? So, accelerometer means uh, not that the A is your velocity by time. In science, you know, velocity by time is your uh, acceleration. Anyway, and uh, force is mass interactions. Okay, you forget this one. Just see, accelerometer means which speeds something. That means if it is like this, like this, like this, and if you are doing something to encourage, that is accelerometer. That means one instrument that is used to uh, used to verify the growth. That is not accelerometer, right? Another thing is we have to understand. Another thing. Another thing we have to understand that is aerometer. Aerometer. Aerometer means that is something related to atmosphere, something related to all those atmospheric, uh, you say, height, atmospheric uh, particles, all things. So, aerometer, right? Another thing is acid meter. ACD meter. ACD meter means uh, that instrument which is used for calculating acidity. So acidity is measured by acidimeter, right? Altimeter. Altimeter. Very simple. Meter is meter. You see meter is here, meter is here. And alti means actually altitude. Altitude. But alto means height. Do not confuse with alto and alti. Alti is your uh, uh, that is altitude, that is height, right? And alto means also height, but altitude is related to more to atmosphere, and alto is related to more to height only. So keep in mind, altimeter instrument used for measuring altitude, right? Next one is your uh, anemograph. Anemograph. Anemograph, just see, anemograph. Anemometer means uh, that is uh, one instrument used for calculating uh, that uh, wind, wind, that is wind speed. So you have to keep in mind the wind speed so that uh, it will uh, help you. Another thing is audimeter. 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 What is audimeter actually? Audimeter means uh, something which is used for Measuring sound. Okay, what do you sound in Greek literature? In Greek literature, sound. So, audimeter. Another thing is barograph. B A R O G R A P H. What is barograph? Barograph means atmospheric pressure. So, instrument used for measuring the pressure inside the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, that is the barometer. Another thing is methanometer. Let it be methanometer. Methanometer. What is methanometer? Actually, this word you can see methane is here. So methan, methan is here. So that is methane. If you use uh, uh, one instrument to measure the power of methane or the concentration of methane, that is known as a methanometer. Okay. All right. Another thing is optometer. Optometer means testing 
eyes. You might have seen many doctors they are known as using optometer. Right? Optometer is one instrument used by that is ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. O P T H. Ophthalmologist. Right? So logist means one scientist or doctor or one who studies research. Right? So ophthalmologist. Ophtha means eye. So eye doctor uses your optha optometer. So ophthalmologist uses optometer. So just keep in mind. Optometer, ophthalmologist. Optometer, ophthalmologist. Like this. Nothing else. Another thing we will discuss right now that is, uh, that is uh, very important. That is megascope. 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 Right? Scope means that is also one type of meter or used for counting something. So mega means big. Right? Something bigger things like you may what is or any item that is measured by your mega scope. Right? Another thing is your micronometer. Very important. Micronometer. Micro means small. Micro means small. I say micronometer. Very simple but very interesting. Micro means small. Right? But forget this right now. Chrono means time. Are you getting my point? So, time that means small parts of time, bits of time is measured by this uh, micronometer. See here. Micronometer. So, time again. Right? Another thing is, we have to understand that is scintillometer. Scintillometer. Scintillometer means uh, those uh, scientific instruments used for uh, measuring the distance of those, uh, uh, like uh, in space, like in uh, uh, 1600, 1400 kilometer above, that is known as uh, space, that is scintillometer. Now we will discuss photoscope. What is photoscope? Actually, ionized particle. Photo means ionized particle. Just remember, photo means ionized particle. Ionized particle. So, one instrument which is used for calculating those uh, personal amount of uh, ionized particle is known as your uh, photoscope. Right? Micrograph, micrograph, you know. Uh, those instruments which are used for uh, calculating those bigger things. Macro means big, uh, micro means small. Anyway. What is U -U meter? U meter. U meter is very interesting. Please uh, see here what is U meter. Just see U, -U meter. This is U meter. What is U meter? Do you know U logi? Logi means study. Right? U, -U means A. So X study, a study of X, study of X is known as Ulog. So we can say O meter is your something which is used for the purity of the about the X, about the protein, about the uh, that is uh, whatever say the cell and size and whatever the constituents properties of those X is known as your O meter, right? Anyway. Now we will discuss solarimeter. What is solarimeter? Just the solarimeter. Solar means solar sun as usual. So solarimeter means radiation, the sun radiation. That means one instrument which is used to, to calculate the intensity of radiation of earth, uh, sun. That is sun rays uh, coming to earth, uh, it takes uh, near about 8 minutes, that is uh, near about 480 seconds or 500 seconds to reach that. So, we can say solar emitter means radiation balance. Okay, anyway. Now, we will discuss heliograph. Heliograph or heliometer. What is heliograph? Heliograph means those sun balance, heat balance, temperature. So, that is uh, intensity of heat, intensity of temperature, that is from sun. Same thing, little, little difference is there. Solar emitter and heliometer, heliograph, there is little, little difference. Just you have to keep in mind, right? Whenever this heliometer, heliograph is concerned, whenever heliometer is concerned, or solar emitter is concerned, just keep in mind one more, that is storm. So, storm is uh, just, uh, you, have, you have to touch this heliograph and heliometer. Anyway, 
Now we will discuss endoscope. In medical science and uh, science you might have uh, uh, heard about endoscope. What is endo actually? Endo means inside. That one man is here, suppose, right? What is inside his uh, body? What is inside his body? Suppose stomach is here, right? Stomach is here. And some uh, instrument used to measure measure uh, whatever problem is there inside it, inside human body, right? It's a man. <laughs> that is known as an endoscopy. Endoscopy. Right? I'll get to my point. So endoscopy, as usual. Right? Another word we have to discuss right now, that is uh, pyrometer. What is pyrometer? Just say pyrometer. Do you know what is pyro? Pyro means fire. So fire means then how to calculate fire? Actually, it's not fire actually. It is related to temperature. So uh, one instrument which is used to uh, calculate or to measure right the intensity of temperature of fire is known as a pyrometer. Do you uh, know that is pyrograph? Means those temperatures are pyrophobia. Do you know pyrophobia? Pyrophobia. <laughs> Very nice question. Phobia means fear. And pyro means fire. <laughs> Some children, uh, you, know, you might have in school days and uh, small uh, childhood days, uh, maybe uh, used to fear this fire. So this is fire pyrophobia. <laughs> Another thing we will discuss right now, cryometer. Actually, cryo means lower temperature. Lower temperature. So cryo means lower temperature. So cryometer means that instrument which is used for measuring the lower temperature of things. Cryogenic engines. Do you know cryogenic engines? Cryogenic engines. Cryogenic engines. Cryogenic engines means those engines which function under or below the lower temperature. Uh, minus color temperature, it's known as cryogenics. Cryometer. So it is related to low temperature, my dear. Anyway, now we will discuss another important thing. Okay, do you know uh, my friends uh, that is Lux? Just see here, Lux, L U X. Do you know Lux? I know Lux. Uh, you know this is a company, right? So company. And I so company. Very nice company. Anyway. But uh, LOX is also a unit of a unit of unit of uh, illumination. Unit of illumination. So keep in mind always illumination means intensity of illumination is measured by one instrument that is related to LOX that is known as your LOX meter. Very simple. Some of my friends say that you are LOX. You are looking like my special LOX. But I said, why should I look like this? so? <laughs> anyway, so now we will discuss uh, one important thing that is uh, okay, methanometer is over, megascope over, microscope over, magnetometer over, scintillometer, all these things are over, U meter also over. Anyway, and uh, chlorometer, chlorometer is simple. Chlorometer means the instrument used for measuring the amount of chlorophyll. Simple amount of chlorophyll. Another thing is declinometer. Declinometer means it is related to magnet. So magnetic declination is known as magnetic declination is known as that is known as declinometer, right? What is phonometer? Phonometer means phone means sound. Please remember phone means sound. So the intensity of sound is measured by phonometer, right? Another thing is cytometer, that is cellular, simple cytometer. Iconometer, you know, in your computer, many icons are there, many icons are there, small, small things. So, images or icons are measured by iconometer, very simple thing. And another thing is your dendrometer. Dendrite is very simple tree. So, the tree or the intensity or the density of trees, plants, is measured by in jungles, stops is known as a dendrometer, simple. 
What is cyclograph? Very interesting. Just remember cyclometer or cyclograph. You know cycle like this. Spoke is here like this. Spoke is like one handle is here. Anyway, so this is the cycle. For example, cycle means round. Right? So cyclometer means this, uh, the instrument which is used for right to view those particles is known as a cyclo. Just see here, cyclometer. Are you getting my Circles. Anyway, another thing is we have to remember that is electronigraph. Electronigraph means those instruments which are used to measure the electrons. That is electron means spirit of electrons, all this is known as electronigraph. Last one is cardiograph. Just see here. Cardiograph. Cardiograph. Actually, cardio means that is heart. Right? So keep your heart intact. So cardio means heart. Cardiograph means heart. But in medical, you might have seen this figure. It's a moving like this. This, 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 this. cardiograph, cardiometer. So anyway, uh, today we discussed uh, about those uh, instruments in science and technology, even also in English literature. So it is very important for literature. It is very important for science. So we have many, many lists, uh, but you have to at least remember. So anyway, thank you very much. Wish you happy learning at GSCO success and uh, 